Um, hello everybody. Um, I'm bored, so I'm gonna make this quick video about this uh, so beautiful sound E can or E tank, however you wanna translate it. Uh, the thing is, well, if you order this thing, you get it like this in this nice uh, cardboard box. Uh, but of course the thing that you care about is not the box but what's inside um, something that catch my attention is that there is no seals or no well no anything it just comes like this so that's weird but it works so uh, once you open this thing of course uh, you usually use two hands not just one ah, come on there you go um, here's uh, the can, it's actually metallic, it's not cheap plastic, this is all metal, uh, it's 100% metal, uh, uh. and of course uh, inside there is a bunch of discs, uh, the thing that's gonna catch your attention right away is the fact that the discs come, well, uh, it's kind of hard when, with one hand. Uh, the discs, come on, man. Uh, the discs come in these nice jewel cases, but uh, there's no front cover or back cover. There's no booklet. Uh, it's just the disc and, uh, well, the jewel case, and that's it. That's all you get. And that's why I'm making my own covers. Um, this is the, here's the back cover for disc number five. Uh, I made this my own myself, and here's the CD try image. So this is still a work in progress, but hey, I really can't stand looking at these things like this. You know, it looks so empty. So I don't know. It feels like it's not finished. Uh, here's one that it's a little bit uh, more completed. This is for uh, Mega Man Seven. Um, here is the CD tray, here is uh, the nice booklet. Uh, this I'm making these things using only fan art. So yeah, no nothing from Capcom. You can see this actually not finished. But anyways, I'm not here to talk about these things. Uh, I'm, I'm here to talk about the discs themselves and the music that includes. Um, so here's what you get. Uh, since Capcom uh, did not include uh, booklets for each disc, uh, they decided to to do this thing. Like uh, this booklet has, you know, the track list for every single one of the discs, and of course the original box art for the Japanese versions of the games. Uh, so, well, yeah, this is kind of nice. I will have, of course, like. It if Capcom had actually added one of these things for every single disc, but I guess this is fine. So, about the music, uh, let me make some space here because I really need. I tried this before and I really, really need more space. Um, so, Rockman 7 for the discs from 1 through number 6. I'll talk about this once later. Uh, I need more hands. I really do. So, uh, the music, the music for all these first six discs, uh, Mega Man One through six or Rockman One through six. Oh, uh, as I said, I really, I really, really need more hands. Mm, so yeah, the music for this six discs. Um, what you get here is, of course, the eight-bit versions of the music. But also, if you're paying attention in the background, there is music playing. Uh, that music comes from one of these discs. So uh, you also get the PlayStation versions of the music. Um, let's say, for example, you have. Uh, you like Hitman from Rockman 2. So 
so that's the 8-bit version but in in this disc but there's also a 16-bit version which was included in the uh, I'm gonna shut up so that you can hear it So that's the version that was included in the, um, what was the name for that, uh, Rockman Complete Works for the PlayStation. Those were games re-released, uh, uh, just re-released re versions of the games for PlayStation with enha enha enhanced music. Uh, the graphics were the same, but at least they got better music. Um, Another thing that you get in these discs is that every single one of them includes uh, bonus tracks that come from uh, something called um, Rockman Specials Music CD or something like that. Uh, those discs were extreme, are extremely, extremely rare. Um, I, I'm not even sure if there are copies of of those things, but you can get the uh, I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> getting, a little, getting a little bit nervous here. Uh, you get the tracks for these things, uh, for these discs, the special CDs, but I've actually never seen those discs. discs sorry. Uh, so, for example, for Rockman 3, here's one of the bonus tracks. So that's one of the bonus tracks. Um, as I said, every single one of these six first discs includes uh, includes uh, at least one or two of those from the Rockman Special Music CDs or well, whatever they are called. Uh, those are extremely rare again, and so that's a chance to get the songs. Mm. Next, uh, let's try Rockman 7. So if you have, again, you, you don't get this, I'm making this ones. Uh, if you're like me and you already have the OST, uh, you'll be glad to know that uh, this version actually fixes many of the annoyances that this one had, like um, Capcom went really, really cheap on this disc, on, on this album actually, and uh, well, the music is recorded directly or directly, how do you say that? Uh, it's recorded from the games, like somebody put a microphone near a game and well, uh, there are parts like you can hear the text uh, typing, like for example, this one. Isn't that annoying? Shut up! So, in this new version, they actually fit uh, something like that. So, if you play that track, which is which happens to be track number 24, here is the new version. So, sounds better, right? Do you miss that? Beep, 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 beep. I hope you don't. Um, another thing I noticed about uh, this new version is that this one includes another bonus track, which you will kind of like, I guess. Uh, it's an unused track from the game, of course. Uh, you will not recognize it because it wasn't used at all, but uh, this track, I'm gonna play. Uh, this track is not included in the original soundtracks, so yeah, that's another bonus here. And next we have Rockman 8 for... Uh, again, if you have the original soundtrack, like I do, you'll be glad 
to know that this one also includes a few extras which are not included in the original one. I'm sorry if you see the shadow of my hand there, there is not much sunlight left so I'm using a, a you know, one of those things. Uh, anyways, um, this new disc includes like four additional tracks, I'm not quite sure, I haven't tracked them down, but here is one that is not included here. So that's Tengu Man stage, but uh, Sat Sega Saturn version. Uh, yes, this uh, disc actually includes all of the Saturn tracks that in that were not in the PlayStation version. Uh, this one does not, so that's a few extras that you may get. There's another track that is not here. Here's another one. And I'm not quite sure, but I think there is like one or two more there. So yeah, that's some additional features. And the last, but not least, man, I saved the worst for the last. So, Rockman M10. Um, there's a little problem with this too. The thing is, if you already own this too, uh, you will be disappointed about these other two, especially after you know the bonus tracks and all that stuff. Because, uh, well, actually, the original versions are better than these ones, only but only because um, uh, these two include one at least one track, which is the last one, which is sound effects, uh, which is not included here. And yes, this one is all, only. 8-bit versions of the music so you're not gonna get the arranges if you know if you have those you know what I mean um, and that's it you get only 8-bit versions for this no bonus tracks no additional content no nothing and that's kind of disappointing you know because well I was expecting something I don't know maybe some quick arranges or something like that but Hey, at, at least the other discs got um, got better music or or additional features. Uh, something that you might you might want to know about uh, again these first six discs. Uh, how can you people talk like this all the time? Anyways, uh, the discs from Mega Man's one through six. Um, some of the music is taken directly from the arcade versions of the games. If you ever played Mega Man The Power Battle or The Power Fighters, you know what I mean. Say, for example, uh, here's the music for one of my favorite songs, by the way. This is Top Man Stage 8 bit version from Mega Man 3. So if you go to the PlayStation version of this song, this is what you get. Uh, what is that song anyway? Here's what you get. Uh, uh, that's not Top Man's song. Actually, that's Shadow Man's. I mean, Slash Man's song. So if you go to Mega Man Seven, say. Flashman. Is that the same song? Anyways, the thing is, uh, some of the songs are not remixed or remade or rearranged or anything like that. They're just taken from, you know, the, the arcade versions. So, yeah, you might get disappointed if you are looking for a song of you know your favorite song or something like that and you find out that it's not there uh, but in the end I think uh, at least uh, this is a fairly decent um, bunch of soundtracks uh, it was made cheap I know that but at least they added some bonus features and stuff like that and if you are a Rockman collector as I am um, well, 
this is a must have you know you really want to have this and that's it I hope I'm sorry for my terrible English I know was uh, using uh a lot and doing us and uh and all of that I'm, I'm sorry I I'm really trying my best uh, sometimes I just I just don't feel like talking English I guess <laughs> anyways uh, any questions and comments are welcome of course uh, so see you later <laughs>